This topic is uh, for creating visualization plugins or for using pre-built visualization plugins. Uh, in MicroStrategy 10 now, uh, one of the coolest things uh, is their depend higher dependence on HTML5, which means there's going to be a lot of opportunity for creative builders to design HTML5 ready visualization that can be plugged in. So MicroStrategy wanted to take advantage of it and encourage it. So Let's see what they did. Go here, and one of the things that they want to take advantage of, which is um, the GitHub. So if you haven't heard of it, it's github.com. Okay. And GitHub is basically an environment or a hub for sharing code, open source code, and interaction. And the idea behind it is there's a lot of creativity out there and the creativity can be shared among other different developers in an open source environment so people can contribute and can cooperate and can and it's actually unleashed a lot of you know creativity for a lot of developers if you're not a developer don't worry about it too much what we care about is we're going to land on the mic strategy it's msdr dash dev we're going to go visit that site so my my strategy created this environment just to encourage visualization plugins and there's also a few that are being created for command manager at the moment and I can only imagine that more people will be jumping on this wagon soon so let's go and see a visualization plugin you see here there's a lot of activity these are all different uh, plugins that are being created some of them are really good some of them are still require some work the idea is, as a developer, you can go in and try to modify, add, upgrade. It's free. It's open source. You could sign in to GitHub. If you have a user account, you could create a user account. Uh, you could actually download a uh, the Windows component that allows you to access GitHub and download things immediately. Or you could use the download zip. So let's assume you want to download uh, something from here using a zip. Let's click on the download zip. Let's download this file which has a few of these samples and uh, so we click here to download. Alright, so here we go and let's choose the one we want to use. So I'm going to right click and copy. If it's not extracted you might want to extract it first and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go into MicroStrategy. So I'm going to go on my machine. And I'm going to go into MicroStrategy. So I'm going to go here into my plugins. And I'm going to save it. And if you notice, I already have it saved here. But if I didn't, I just would paste it right here. So any new stuff that I want, I can bring in here and save them over here. Now in these folders, they're all identical in structure. So if I look at this, there's going to be three folders, and each one is going to have multiple layers. And this actually is a specific style that you need to follow. So if you're creating one on your own, you need to also follow this folder structure in plugins and drop it in plugins, okay? So after I dropped it here, I'm ready to go and exit from my strategy. So let me go to my admin on the web. I'm going to restart my iServer after and I'm going to connect. Okay and now I'm ready to log in. I'm going to create a dashboard. Now I'm using the web create a dashboard to take advantage of this. But you could have used my strategy desktop as well if you have my strategy desktop downloaded. And notice I have a new plugin or choose an existing data set okay so as you notice here it's a very simple example but you'll see that these are the different regions and these are the different years you could reverse the order now your regions are on the outside and your years are in the inside. 
Okay, and there you go. You got your sunburst visualization and any other visualization that we just downloaded from the MicroStrategy GitHub. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you can advantage, take advantage of these uh, visualizations and contribute your own visualizations.